We have always lived in this region called Arnhem Land. Our people were nomads, always moving from one place to another, carrying their few belongings with them. That is why we know the forest so well. In the forest, we know how to get everything we need. The men have always hunted and fished while our women are expert gatherers. They know where to find edible fruits and roots and how to get honey, which is one of our favorite foods. When a special celebration is coming up, the women go into the forest in search of the prize nectar. Here the termites again play an important role. In the high branches of the trees, the bees take advantage of the holes made by the termites to construct their honeycombs. No matter how thick the trees are, the women do not take long in chopping them down. Inside, they are hollow like enormous termite hills. Once they have chopped it down, and depending on how wet the clay inside the base of the trunk is, they will know in which part of the tree they will find the honey. Patiently taking turns with the axe, the women make cuts in the trunk until they find the honeycomb. The bees go mad, flying angrily around the women who are destroying their home. But these honeybees are tiny and inoffensive, incapable of doing any harm. The honey is inside capsules of wax, which means large pieces can be collected without spilling it. Later, they clean it and separate it from the wax. Gathering has always been very important for us. Fruits, berries, medicinal herbs, roots and tubers have long formed the basis of our diet. The women have always worked in the forest, carrying out these tasks. No one knows nature like they do. Depending on how flexible the lianas and the stems of the plants are, they know whether or not the roots are big enough or taste enough to be cooked. They collect yams which grow wild in the humid areas. Their work is very dangerous. They disturb the vegetation and you have to be careful how you treat nature because before long she will get angry and attack you in one way or another. They often come across the king brown 
one of the most poisonous snakes in the world, its bite is always fatal. Thank you.